expect the butt rage. And hello, shock fans. I'm uh, this your beloved soldier of the inverted cross, Rip, the full blown freak show, back with another Rip's Robot Mode reviews. And today we're looking at something I'd wanted for a very long time, ever since I've seen the movie, not the toy, but the character. Transformers Age of Extinction Movie Advanced Stinger. The butt, about the butt rage thing. How often does Hasbro shit out Bumblebee repaints? Yeah. Why would you leave one that's a legit character out of the lineup? Here's the solution, guys. I know they said they planned liars. Just like they said we'd get um, uh, Dark of the Moon Soundwave and Q in America. You guys seen them yet? I haven't. Um, anyways, they said they were doing a retool remold, but they canceled it. Why did they make that weird um, crosshairs repaint? That had nothing to do with the movie. Like everything had a legit purpose. Even the Dinobots who weren't in the movie had a legit purpose. Replace him with a red Bumblebee repaint. Problem solved. And first of all, the colors. Red and black. Best color scheme ever, guys. Just just saying, you know. Best color scheme ever. Um, this figure is really cool. Heck, it's not Bumblebee. Of course it's awesome. Because I love car formers. Um, I'll go and get the scale out of the way. And like I said, sorry for the butt rage. Don't worry, we're getting on to the actual review now. Uh, hold on, let's figure this out. Okay. He's about as tall as Thundercracker. Um, and I really liked the Bumblebee figure, but the problem was, it was Bumblebee, so I never bought it. Um, the head sculpt on this one is the old Bumblebee head sculpt. Uh, let me just uh, move the head sculpt up a bit. He came with two of those shooting, no, sh shuriken stars. Uh, I put them on my, one of my wheeljack molds. Because they're useless. Uh, there's the head sculpt, guys. Really nicely painted uh, battle mask. Really nicely done. Um, this thing's a bit loose. I won't, well, not loose. It's just a bit finicky. I'll say that much. And let me slide the mask up. Really like the fa Actually, I do like the Bumblebee face painted in those colors. Give my camera time to focus. Looks really good. Looks really scary. Makes him seem more like with the actual face. Makes him seem more like an independent character than a drone. So I'll leave it up for right now. Uh, chest plate. All this is really painted nicely. There's a con symbol on the top of the car. None on his body. I might end up knocking the pen out or something or moving his back kibble. Uh, articulation is really good on this guy. The head is on a ball joint that can look that far up. Uh, pretty far down, you get a little bit of wiggle room in there. Sorry, it's hard to see. Um, let me just adjust it there. Uh, shoulders are on this uh, inner joint that lets it go about that far up and that far down. There's a rotation there too, and then there's a hinge here. Uh, there's a really nice, like soft ratchet elbow joint here. Nothing at the wrist and I'll go ahead and show you guys this. The wrist swivel here, it doesn't feel as tight as it was when I got it, but it still feels really tight. And I feel like because this plastic is sort of thin here, that this is eventually going to stress and break. Because I would advise you, unless yours has like an extremely loose, and I don't mean bad loose, just like normally loose, um, right, um, arm swivel, bicep swivel, that's what I'm looking for. I wouldn't advise you guys to overuse that. Uh, the, he still retains the really cool gimmick. That's why he doesn't have the weapons. There, you flip this panel uh, this way. No, I was doing it right. What you tell me I was doing it wrong for? Uh, the gimmick and his hand is a gun. Wish he had double barrels. That'd be freaking awesome. No way, strong. I don't see why they couldn't have done that because all the crap's on his back for the most part, other than the shoulder pads and car panels here and some crap on the back of his legs. Um, the backpack is the reason I was going to move it, remove it probably at some point because it kind of gets in the way. Uh, the legs can go pretty far back, pretty far forward. Um, this is extremely tight on mine. Not going out, but coming back inward. Right there. It's like it. There. It doesn't want to click back in. There, this crap on the back of his leg gets in the way. You can move it back, but you get a decent knee bend with it there. 
Um, let me fix the knees there. Uh, the f there is a fast wave of It's not too tight. It's okay. Uh, there's a cluster half of joints here that go forward and back on the feet. There's a pivot forward and back. Uh, and then the foot itself can pivot that pivot forward and back. Uh, let me adjust the feet again. So yeah, he's a pretty poseable figure. I never hated on the Bumblebee figure except for the fact that it was freaking Bumblebee. Um, I'm not gonna be one of those little. See, here's the thing. Here comes the, some more butt rage, guys. Since we've got the most of the crap out of the way. One, there was no excuse. I understand Soundwave being a new mold. They didn't get it, and Hasbro didn't do it. Uh, I understand Q not getting released in America because it was a new mold. This is a straight up repaint. Hasbro does that all the time. And don't say they don't. We know they freaking do. But this is literally a straight up repaint. A Bumblebee, a mold they commonly use. Um, other things about this that I want to say. Yeah, people whining and saying, well, I don't want it. This is stupid. If it's not the Ferrari, here's the thing. If it would have never been released, if, the if this one wouldn't have been released, the straight up Bumblebee repaint, everyone would have been whining. They never made one. There was never a deluxe Stinger toy. We got one. Now, whether you want to buy it or not, that's your choice. But people should stop whining over this. It's a toy. Don't buy it if you don't want it. That's what pisses me off. I was like going on the TFW boards when this came out. I was like, yeah, sweet Stinger. I never comment because this shit. It's like, people are like, no, I'm glad. No one's like, no, F you. It's the uh, they said F you. But I'm, I'm, I'm going to make this epic. And, um. They're all like, you know, no, you're stupid for buying this. is dumb. No, if it's not a Ferrari. Well, listen, if you want a damn Ferrari, go buy the Hot Wheels toys or something. This is a robot. That's what I buy. That's what a lot of people buy these for. It's not like, I mean, here's the thing. The other thing, the third thing on my list of, one, it's a repaint. Two, everybody was whining that it got made. And if it didn't get made, they would have been whining. The third thing. Few months before this, I seen this on TFW board, so I don't know who said this, but it was extremely smart. Um, um, I think how you worded it. Yeah, uh, two months ago, people were paying hundreds of dollars and on bids and, and commissions to have a custom one painted from the Bumblebee mold. So you're telling me people were pissed off? It didn't surprise me that it was a repaint because think about it: everything Stinger had during the movie was a repaint, other than the One Step Changer, and those all share like the same body mold. So I mean, it wasn't like a surprise. I love this thing; it's one of my favorite live-action Transformers. It's right up there with Crankcase and um, my Optimus and my Galvatron. I'm adjusting the mask back now. The mask is a bit of pain in the ass. I will say that, guys. This guy's on BBTS, and thanks to all the fan rage over it shouldn't have been married, eat my dick. Um, uh, you could probably pick one up pretty pretty much for twenty nine dollars, and heck, they might come down on price now since apparently nobody's buying them. Uh, there, I like the battle mask because it it looks pretty much close enough to the movie. They painted the eyes green. Just it annoys me how thin it feels. Doesn't feel like it's gonna break or anything, but hey. A red and black transformer, of course, I was excited. Uh, there's ports right here that you could plug uh, in those shurikens, but they're stupid. They don't actually look movie accurate where they're like coming off his shoulders. Uh, the shoulder pad armor here, by the way, is adjustable. You can have it straight up, but it's hard to pose with it like that. I have nothing. Everybody's like, we missed it on the good car, so what's wrong with the Camaro? I liked it. So, yeah. Thanks, guys, for enjoy for standing around for all the butt rage over this. I was just, I've been pissed off about people whining about this for months, and we fight because we never. It's like we never get the good stuff. I mean, why do you care? If you're a car fan, go buy cars. They make toy Ferraris, guys. I'm I'm not shitting you on that. They they make toy Ferraris, but um yeah. If you got the Bumblebee mold, why the heck would you? If you want to try it out without looking like a a, a two year old, um uh, here's a cool way to get. And you get it on the winning side. Go cons. So yeah, would I suggest this guy? I paid 29 bucks for him plus shipping. Yeah, I'm happy with it. I'm really happy with it. He's not too small. I don't feel like that um, um, I got cheated on it or anything. I felt like the price was fair. Because, I mean, Hasbro's up in their price on everything. And their quality's not as good as it used to be. I mean, it's not bad or anything, but... 
for if I can pay fifteen for one of theirs, uh, I'm pretty happy paying my um, uh, thirty for one of the cars, and it actually has a decent paint job. Uh, I'll get you guys one last shot of him. I'm really sorry this review's running so long. I just wanted to let all that pent up butt rage out. I know my lighting is not good as always. I moved to this room a bit more to do more reviews because the lighting tends to be better on me. Um, but yeah, Stinger, he's totally freaking worth it. He's awesome. I love it. Red and black. You can't go wrong with red and black, guys. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Again, sorry about the delay. Just had to let all that out because these are toys, guys. These are action figures. This isn't the cure for cancer. These are toys. Don't get so angry over this stuff. It's a plastic. It's a piece of plastic um, and nothing more. If you don't buy this, then that's your business. But they did provide a... A perfectly good Stinger. And first of all, um, well, last of all, Stinger was not a huge character in the movie. He was a drone. Walmart did this whole, let's buy out Stinger because he's Red Bumblebee. He's going to be the rival to Bumblebee. He was in it for two seconds. And it, well, I mean, like, not, he was in it a bit, but not much. I mean, that one scene where he's like in, like, display, like a, a prototype of him or something. And then you see a stinger run by, and then they had like one fight where one would be like, I hate cheap knockoffs. And that was Hasbro like saying, screw off to KO Toys. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, uh, thanks for watching. As always, um, we hit 30. I, hit, I got a 30 second subscriber the other day, uh, and that was awesome. Thanks. Thank you for subscribing, bro. Or, bro, whatever the dude or dudette, whatever. I didn't, I've seen the name, but I didn't get to go. I haven't got to go to the channel yet, but I'm going to. Um, Thank you very much for your sub. Tell your friends. And this has been Rip, the Full Blown Freak Show with, uh, oh, yeah, one thing about the red here, it's really shiny. The red on his chest is really shiny. And this guy's all, again, I know I'm, I'm dragging this on and really doing a bad review here. But, yeah, Stinger. He's totally worth the pickup, guy. So until next time, this has been Rip, the Full Blown Freak Show, your beloved soldier of the inverted cross, signing off. Farewell.